This video is to demonstrate how you can use the RT PAT progress tracker so that it can help you focus each lesson when working on your PAT. You can download it from tinyurl.com slash tracker and when you download it, it'll open it up in Google Sheets and then I would suggest that you click on file and download it and make sure that you download it as an Excel spreadsheet which is an XLSX file so that you can access all the features. RTPAT progress tracker looks like this. There's a worksheet for each phase. So this is phase one and this is phase two. And all the tasks that you need to do is on the side over there. And you fill in your details over there. So let's pretend your teacher says on the 15th of February, you're working on the PAT. So you'll type in the date over there and you'll say on this date, what do we do? Well, we completed the folder structure, but we started working on the scenario and scope. So you just fill in what you are going to do. And then in the next lesson, you will go, okay, well, we completed that. So I completed that, but then we started doing the user requirements. And then in the next lesson, let's say that's on the 20th of Feb. You can say, well, we have, we completed it and so on and so on. So you're creating basically like a NAT chart where you can see your progress of what you've completed, what you still need to do. As you complete different tasks, you'll notice that your progress is moving up. Your teacher will give you the date where you must hand in and they might give you individual dates for different aspects to be completed. You can fill that in there to help you. I would also suggest at the end of each lesson, you come to the bottom here and rate how much you worked in that lesson on a scale of zero to five. Zero meaning you didn't work at all, five meaning you worked all the time. And so let's say oh, I worked, but not all the time, so I'll give, give myself a four. But in this lesson, I worked solidly, but in this lesson, ah, maybe I only did a two, for example. And so what you're gonna see is over here, you're gonna see your work rate percentage. And so you, ideally, you want this to be 80% or more. So if you see a dip below 80%, then you know that you're not focused enough in your PAT lessons. You need to be putting more effort in and trying to complete more so that you can complete the entire PAT in the allocated time. So this is to help you just focus and make sure that you're putting the right amount of effort into all the lessons that you are working on the PAT. When you're doing your phase two, you might not do all of these in a particular order. So you obviously will jump around depending on what lesson, but it's still a checklist to see, have I done that? Have I done that? Have I done that? And then the same thing at the bottom where you keep track of your progress. If you would prefer a hard copy version of the PAT progress tracker, you can download this printable one at tinyurl.com slash tracker print. And obviously the formulas will not work in this particular one because it'll be a hard copy, but you can still indicate whether you completed a task. I would suggest using an X and tick for that, or you can use a highlighter to highlight what you've done. That can also work. You can fill in your dates and then your progress at the bottom here, yeah, you can indicate on a scale of zero to five. That's actually given like a timeline where you can say, I did a four today or I worked at a level of five. And I would suggest joining those lines to create some sort of chart where you can see how your progress is going and you ideally want to keep your progress up at the top and not make it dip too far to the bottom. Page two will give you the phase two. So hopefully this resource can help you stay focused when you are working on your pet. Make sure that you click on that subscribe button so that you get notifications whenever we post new videos, especially if they new RT pet tips and go to the playlist to see particular topics that could help you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.